It's a sad day when I run out of coffee. Sad day. <laughs> What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Justin. I almost said my name is Yes. That was weird. <laughs> Today we're listening to the song Run Through the Light from Yes off of their album Drama, which was released in 1980. The last song Into the Lens, I already liked it like <laughs> in the video, but like I've grown to like really like it a lot. This is a good one. I'm glad I'm going through this album and a lot of you guys seem excited uh, for me to go through this album as well. So it's kind of a win-win for everybody. At least until we reach 13k and hit them topographic oceans, then we'll be ready to sail, sail, sail away. But until then, we got some drama happening, so I hope that you guys have enjoyed the videos. You can join me on Twitter, you can join me in the comments down below, you can press like, you can press the share button, you can do all of that stuff, and let's do it. This is Run Through the Light by Yes, because you don't want to run in the dark, you might run into something. And all she offered me were dreams Of all the moments spent together That move like never-ending streets 
that has single material. I don't know about you, but that felt like an 80s single, but with a little bit of that yes goodness thrown in there. Uh, one thing that you guys had mentioned and that I've noticed, but you know, it's sometimes when you guys mention it that like I really notice, uh, that I think I really like about this album is just how prominent the bass playing is. I mean, Squire is always nice to hear, but like it's nice to hear him like so upfront in the music because he has so much of the drive, um, of course, melodically and rhythmically, but I would even say like to an extent, like to an extent, so much part of the percussion that's driving the song. And of course, we have that powerful percussion from Mr. White, who, as always, is adding the right amounts of uh, ferocity, velocity, and power <laughs> into the song. I especially like what he does on the kick drum uh, while Trevor is singing, like, for example, I think it's in the first verse, when he kind of hits the kick on each of the warriors that Trevor is singing. That's a really cool way of, like, kind of playing with the verse a little bit. And speaking of Trevor, I really like the way that he sings, especially the first line of the verse. I think that's really interesting. Let me look up real quick. I ask my love to give mm -hmm. me shelter. I think that that is so interesting. I think that that sounds really cool. One, when he hits the high note, love it. And then the way he plays with the ending syllable of the word, shelter. Shelter. <laughs> It's fun. It's yes. It's good. I like that. I find the chorus of the song a little like typical. <laughs> like it, it sounds like any other pop chorus, to be honest with me. But the rest of the song, uh, the keyboards, downs, you guys know I do love down style. I love what he does. And actually thinking about all of Yes's keyboardmen, keyboardmen, is that how <laughs> keyboardist, I guess I should have said? Thinking about all of Yes keyboardists, they all brought a certain style, a certain pizzazz with them into the band and that's actually really cool to hear like how they all are influencing uh, the band's direction and the sound at the time that they were playing on them so like i said with downs i love the orchestral sound that he brings in i love the 80s sound that he brings in he just has another unique element to add into the soup uh that is yes yeah like right there i like that i like how they set this up i like how how always fills in the space with some some goodness <laughs> like you know he's gonna come out and like just break out with these cool riffs and riffs that he comes up with any other band well not any other band but some other bands will be like man i wish i could just create that like out of nowhere and how just throws these riffs out to fill space not even like as the main groove or anything yeah like the chorus it fits within the song i just find the chorus a little like it's all right, <laughs> you know, it's okay. But I do really enjoy the bass playing uh, and Trevor's singing on this one. I really enjoy all of what they do, <laughs> but I'm finding myself especially attracted to those two things. And Downs does such a good job with how, kind of building that giant feel, that big grand, grandiosity into the song. But at the same time, he's still getting those very typical 80s sounds. It's just all, it's all goodness, I love it. And then how just goes off and starts shredding. Like it's nothing. Uh, it says, Run Through the Light features Hal playing a Les Paul guitar in the background being very melancholy, with Squire playing a piano. Okay. And Horn? Horn playing bass? I didn't know Horn was playing bass on this one. Okay. Uh, something which Horn did not particularly wish to do, but Squire convinced him to perform. I didn't know what to play on it. This is how, uh, Horn talking. Uh, one day we spent 12 hours playing and working the final bass part. <laughs> Okay, so it took him a while to get it down, but, uh, I mean, it sounds good. I like it. And I guess now knowing that, I mean, I guess it does sound different than the way that Squire usually plays. It's definitely not of the same aggressive and dynamic nature. It sounds great on its own right. Like, it works for the song, definitely. But now I get the difference. Now I hear it. <laughs> Talking about the lyrics, I asked my love to give me shelter, and all she offered me were dreams. Mm, starting off like a blues song. <laughs> Of all the moments spent together that move like never-ending streams. Run through the light, now everything is all right. Run through the light of day, run to the light of night. So the song title, Run Through the Lights. Moving forward, working your way through the good and the bad. I mean, that those first two lines, those hurt. I asked my love to give me shelter and all she offered me were dreams. Ooh, dreams can't shelter you. <laughs> and every movement made together till every thought was just the same and all the pieces fit forever in the game. So yeah, those last two lines kind of uh, sum it all up. You run through the light of night, you try your best to get through the night, the dark times in your life, and you use the light to guide your way through. 
uh, and eventually, and hopefully, you come out on the other end, you come to the light of day. On a brighter side, on a brighter future, sometimes the grass is greener on the other side. <laughs> so nice song, it feels like a catchy single, and that's not a bad thing. It's okay. I don't love the song on a first listen. Not, not just yet, but it's good. It's good. It's all right. I would love to know your thoughts on it. You can join me on Twitter. You can join me in the comments down below. If you'd like, you can join me on Patreon and support the channel. Help me get more videos out at a faster pace, but you do not have to. As long as you sit back, enjoy my company, enjoy the videos, press the like and subscribe buttons if you haven't already, then how much happier could I be? Have a fantastic day, guys, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.